So today's fragrance review is actually going to be from the House of Perry Ellis. Now, I actually originally done this one last January, just before my hiatus. However, I wasn't too thrilled with it, so I'm going to be redoing Perry Ellis Night. So I hope that the camera can pick that up. So, originally I had the 100ml, but because I really downsized my collection at the time, I ended up selling it, but I ended up keeping this. So as Perry Ellis Night was launched in 2010, but let's just get into the bottle presentation right now. So the bottle presentation for Perry Ellis Night. So it's just a simple, elegant looking bottle. This bottle is um, it's very much just a clone of like Perry Ellis Platinum Label, Perry Ellis Spirited, and other per Perry Ellis fragrances. So you got Perry Ellis Night there. It's black all the way around with nothing except for this little sticker which is just uh, that came with the gift set. So you have the sticker code at the bottom nothing around the metallic atomizer the cap itself is I think it's wooden but it's covered with a leather coating so it's just uh, it's kind of peeling off so it does look a little bit cheap the sprayer is actually not too bad so hopefully the camera could pick this up it's not bad but for the price you really can't complain so that is the bottle presentation for Perry Ellis Knight Okay, so the bottle that you saw was actually originally from the very first video. So the top notes for this fragrance are Blood Orange and Pomelo with the mid being Geranium, Yuzu, and Virginia Cedar with the base being Oak Moss, Woodsy Notes, and Amber. Now, what I get out of this fragrance is that in the initial opening blast, I get a very tart and bitter uh, citrus. So that Blood Orange is extremely uh, potent, very strong. It is also quite synthetic in the beginning. And then some of that greenness does come out with the oak moss, but I also get a very clean, soapy feel, if you will. Now, I don't get any of the other notes. It's pretty much just a, a very strong citrus, green, soapy fragrance as the main accords that I really get. It does say night. However, I do think that this could be used daytime quite easily. It's casual, but at the same time, it can be used for semi-formal. Now, seasons definitely summertime along with springtime but I would probably think more so in the summertime this will definitely shine during those hot summer days it's really going to project especially since that blood orange is very intense longevity was actually very good with six to seven hours with about two and a half hours of projection so for me for a periolus fragrance that's actually pretty damn good now prices on this one. Now this is actually, in my opinion, it's a cheapie and it's actually a half decent goodie. Now as I stated, I originally had the 100 ml, but I ended up keeping this little travel out of, uh, travel spray. Um, I really don't know how how many mls this is. It's just it's really hard to uh, to make out the writing on this one. But I actually got a gift set, not a travel pack, but a gift set. Correction there uh, of this. A 100 ml, some body wash, and aftershave for $20 at USD at Ross when I was actually visiting my good friend Joe Anthony down in Atlanta last year. Uh, so your, your TJ Maxx, your Ross, your Marshalls, those sorts of places will definitely sell this one. Up here in Canada, Winners and Marshalls, I'm not exactly sure as I haven't seen them, but online uh, for a 50 and a 100 ml, they're going to range from $15 to $30. Now when it comes to usage, I did say that this is casual, but it's also semi-formal. You know, I could see myself wearing something like this uh, for work, school, uh, going out. I can definitely also see it for semi-formal. So like, like let's say like a wedding fragrance, you know. Uh, now people's thoughts on this one. So people thought it was clean, zesty, bright, nice, loud, and overall just pleasant. Now I do like this one. It is a casual kind of fragrance. Somebody. I do prefer these types of fragrances. I actually like it. I do think it's a good fragrance for those uh, casual guys, uh, the everyday man out there. So guys, that's it for Perry Ellis Night. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.